Hello everyone, let's learn about expected value with very simple example. Say you are going casino and there is coin tossing game. The rule is very simple, dealer is throwing a coin, front side you win, back side you lose. There are two types of the game. First game, there is no game fee, you take $10 for the front side, you pay $8 for the back side. Second game, there is game fee, every time you play, you pay $6. You take $10 for the front side, but you never lose for the back side. Which game will you play? Well, we can use the expected value concept to choose the game. Well, if you play just once, maybe the second game is better because the worst case, you just pay $6, while the first game, uh, you pay $8. But if we play this game continuously, uh, definitely you better think about the expected value. So let's take a look at the first game here. You take $10 for the front side, you pay $8 for the back side. Well, if the coin is perfect, you have the 50% chance for the front and back side. So if you calculate the expected value, then uh, you get plus $1 from the first game here. You can easily get the expected dollar by taking a sum of the value times probability. So this is the expected value. In statistics, uh, you can think that this dollar amount is a random variable and we have the probability and summing up this one is going to be plus one dollar. And this is the equation. So the expected value, uh, you can think it is the long run average value of the repetition of the same experiment it represents. Uh, this is from the Wikipedia. And this is uh, the discrete random value because this coin tossing game just have the front side or back side. This is the discrete and in the discrete situation, uh, this expected value is exactly the same with the weighted average as well. Well, let's take a look at the second game here. You pay $6 every time you play this game. You take $10 for the front side, but you never pay uh, for the back side here. So let's take a look how much uh, we have for the expected value here. So every time you play, you pay $6. So 10 minus 6 times 50%. Plus, back side, you have the $0 there, but you always pay $6, right? So 0 minus 6 and times 0.5. So in result, you get minus $1 expected value from the second game. So you better choose the first game because the first game has the plus $1 while the second game has minus $1. If you play this game continuously, repeatedly, by expected value, you better choose the first game. That's it. Thank you and I will see you on the next video.